In the event of violation of the airspace of NATO member states by Russian drones or missiles, the decision to shoot them down is made by national authorities. NATO Secretary General Mark Root stated this after a meeting with President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev. Of course, shooting down drones and missiles that violate the alliance's territory is a decision made by national authorities. NATO has already decided to strengthen air defense on the eastern flank so that all members of the alliance have the opportunity to protect their airspace. And of course, this is important for NATO as a whole, he said. Root also stressed that the alliance's allies will continue to consult on this situation. At the same time, Zelensky also commented on the readiness of partners to shoot down Russian drones or missiles. We work with them until they are ready. As reported, Russian drones have repeatedly violated the airspace of NATO member countries. In early September, Russian drones violated the airspace of Latvia and Romania. Both countries subsequently sent initial reports on the incident to their NATO allies and a more detailed investigation was launched. It is known that one of the drones flew into Romania during the night attack on Ukraine and the other fell in eastern Latvia. Bucharest decided to send F-16 fighters to monitor the sky and send text messages to residents of the two eastern regions. This situation is a confirmation that we need to continue the work we have begun to strengthen Latvia's eastern border, including developing air defense capabilities and electronic warfare capabilities to limit the activities of unmanned aerial vehicles of various purposes. Latvian Defense Minister Andrea Spruds noted at the time. Earlier, NATO member Poland also reported a possible fly-in of a Russian drone in its airspace during a large-scale Moscow-led air attack on Ukraine but later backed off the claim. The reported breaches have stirred concern over heightened confrontation between NATO and Russia as President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly blamed Kiev's Western allies for his decision to invade Ukraine and accused NATO of provoking Moscow with its eastward expansion. Yet Putin also said that Russia has no aggressive intentions toward NATO members, dubbing rumors that the Kremlin might be sizing up Poland, the Baltic states or the Czech Republic as its next victim, a complete nonsense. On Thursday, aerial footage shows a brush fire beginning to spread across a mountain near Lake Piru, California. The fire was in Ventura County, northwest of Los Angeles. According to local reporting, the fire has burned over 200 acres of land and officials in the area have warned residents to evacuate, as crew tries to combat the flame. California has experienced several wildfires statewide this year, as hot and dry weather conditions continue to persist in the state. Spain's defense ministry said Thursday its first of two planes sent to Beirut to evacuate Spanish civilians had taken off and was heading to an airbase near Madrid. The military plane is carrying some 200 evacuees on board, the ministry said. Spanish Defense Minister Margarita Robles said that between 400 and 500 of the around 1,000 Spaniards registered as living in Lebanon could be airlifted out. 
The government has urged all Spaniards to leave and is offering to assist those who say they want to be evacuated. A second military plane is expected to leave Lebanon later on Thursday. Robles said that a third plane could be sent if needed. Spain also has 676 soldiers in Lebanon deployed under a United Nations peacekeeping mission. Robles said that the troops are staying put until otherwise ordered by UN command.